was a fight. Andrea Cantillo. Right here. Miss Cantillo, we're going to go ahead and admit your son to the pediatric IC. You can bring that with you. OK. So you're the boy's father? No. OK. I'm sorry. It's just we try to keep it to two visitors maximum. So, OK. Go, go, go. I'll be out here if you need me. Go, go. Next time. Stick. Huh? There won't be a next time. Come on, Bobby, just take him home. Which home? You were right. But everybody else is right, too. I'm just not ready to be a mom. Am I sorry? Are you ready to go back to Wildwood? He says the sooner the better. I, I, is, is it some kind of trick? No, he doesn't belong with me. He never really did. You sign papers. I'll sign whatever I have to. Just go ahead and take him. I still want to. So long, Sammy. You be happy, okay? <laughs> Just take this outside, Sonny. Okay. Please, hey, wait, boy. Okay. Sonny's sick in no, here. Just come in here. Just... You never cared whether I lived or died as long as Sam made it. That's who only mattered, not me. The car's out front. Okay, come on, sweetheart. No, Go. no. You're smart, Kelsey. And you can write. And your organizational skills are incredible. And you're pretty. What a crock. Kelsey! Kevin, wait, Kevin. Can't you just hang out for just a few more minutes? Can't we talk? What's left to say? Um, thank you for teaching me how to love. Let's, let's get back to this. This petition, all right? Why don't we just... Throw it in the trash and forget about it. I collected those signatures because I believe in the cause. You deal with it however you want. Just remember, I am your daughter, who you never took to the circus. <laughs> the white lady came and hung dolls from the trees and put blood on them. And the lady, she was wearing a white robe? And you're sure they were dolls that were hanging from the trees? They weren't babies or animals, were they? No. The white lady, did she have a lot of magic power? <laughs> no. <clears throat> but there was this high and mighty man who could always see what you were doing. Always see what you were doing? Even now, even here? he could read.
Why don't you write it down? He'll never know. Write what down? The names of all the people with the white lady. They tell you to tell me what I'm not supposed to spend it on? Cash, Linda, you can spend it on whatever you want. Okay. I also want to give you my card. What's that, in case I get arrested? It's in case you want to call me. Why would I want to do that? For a variety of reasons. Maybe you want to communicate with your father without speaking to him directly. You might need help in going back to school. You might have medical problems you can't afford treatment for. Oh, yeah, in case you get arrested. You doing this because my father's paying you to do it? Or are you actually interested? Both? Yeah, both. You were the one trying to keep me locked up. You're not exactly the first person I'd call. Whether I'm the first or the last, you might as well have the phone number. Tell my father thanks. Toby, we're not talking Pulitzer Prize here. Howard, you wouldn't know a Pulitzer Prize from a prize point. Would you guys just relax? How do you expect to put a paper out every week if you're going to argue about every single layout? You know, they kind of remind me of you and Brandon. <laughs> not me. Brandon, maybe, but... Uh... <clears throat> Brandon, maybe what? Uh, Brandon, maybe covering the school board meeting tonight. Forget it. Come on, Brandon. It's the last one. Do it for all time's sake. I'll tell you what, you do it for old time's sake, and I'll stay home and feel guilty. But better yet, why don't you give it to one of the juniors here? You know, pass the torch. No can do. I'm covering track and field finals at Marshall this afternoon. And I've got an interview for a summer job. Go on, Brandon. It's the last chance you can at least pretend you care about the fate of this school. Oh, I care. Great. It's settled. Here's the agenda, 7.30. Don't be late. Get out of here. <laughs> Do ask for more. 